Hey folks, Andy here and welcome to This Month at Mantic, your monthly care package delivering you a shot in the arm of Mantic news and getting you back into the fight. July is upon us and that means we're right in the middle of our summer of sci-fi. We've brought you the suitably scary Night Stalkers and some additions to the Asterians into Firefight, but that's not the end of it folks, oh no! You didn't think we'd forget about Dead Zone, did you? Well, up for pre-order from today are these amazing nine, yes, count them nine, new boxes for Dead Zone, bringing a smile to your cute little faces. After all, Dead Zone is life, or so they say. Let's start with the Night Stalkers. You can bring your nightmares to life on the Dead Zone table with this Night Stalker starter box. Containing nine miniatures, this box gives you a sprue from which you can make three butchers or ravagers, depending upon your tastes a sprue from which you can make 5 scarecrows or spectres, or again a mixture of them, and this comes with the resin upgrade parts to equip 3 of your spectres with an astral beam, a void blaster, or a shadow barrage. Plus you also get a resin banshee. But wait, you want a booster box too, right? Well, we have you covered with the Night Stalker Nightmare Incursion Booster Box. This contains 9 miniatures and includes a sprue to enable you to make 5 reapers, which can be equipped with either Wicked Talons or Tormentor Talons, 3 Resin Luctus Void Rays, plus a Resin Horror. More? You want more? Well, how about another booster? This time the Night Stalker Interdimensional Horrors Booster. This contains 3 horrifying miniatures, the thoroughly attractive Resin Mind Screech, the Who's a Good Boy Dread Ravager, also in resin, and the last but by no means least, PVC Butcher Flesh Ripper. So aptly named because, well, you can guess the rest. Now moving over to the Asterians, we have 6 new boxes of stuff so strap yourself in, and while you're sitting comfortably, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and please do subscribe to the Mantic YouTube channel and turn on all notifications. You've no idea how much this helps us out, and also, it's completely free, so why wouldn't you? Right, back to the new stuff. First up, we have an Asterian Cleared Warriors starter box, containing 13 miniatures. Included are the brand new Plastic Cypher Sprue, of which you get two, allowing you to make six ciphers with some different weapon options, a Plastic Sprue allowing you to make five marionettes and a support drone, plus a Resin Cypher Prime, which looks amazing. Boosting this box is the Cleared Veterans Booster, containing four miniatures. Three brand new amazing looking Black Talons, and the also new Shuvatar. All four new models are in resin. We also have the Kalishi booster containing four miniatures. All coming in resin are three Kalishi warriors plus the all new Kalishi Deathstrike. Now moving on to the frankly amazing mat sedans with a house conclave starter box containing two brand new crisp looking mat sedan sprues from which you can make six of our samurai space lizards. The resin mat sedan Gaioji bringing his hymns and prayers to the battlefield, plus a plastic sprue of marionettes with a resin upgrade kit to allow you to make Haniwa marionettes. Where do we go from here? I hear you ask. Well, how about a booster box? This time the Matadan Wanderers booster. This box contains four miniatures comprising of the Matadan Ronin, two Ogre Crocodogs, honestly, they don't bite, plus my favourite in this box, the amazing looking Matadan Grav Bike. All four models are skillfully cast in resin. And of course, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't leave this big guy until last. The Matadan Daidarabochi booster. The resin Daidaramech armed with weapons such as the Shirado shield or the heavy fusion beamer. Now on a 60mm base, you know this fella's gonna pack some serious punch. Well, I'm sure you'll agree the summer of sci-fi is in full swing and this cavalcade of dead zone delights has been well worth the wait. Continuing with the Summer of Sci-Fi, we promise you a period of upgraded access to the Mantic Companion for Dead Zone and Firefight, and well, it's here. This went live on Wednesday and gives upgraded silver access to everyone with a Mantic Companion account until the end of August. Two months of upgraded access to our sci-fi games for your summer of fun. If you're not already a Companion user, then this is the perfect time to sign up. It's completely free to do so so go and do it and see what it's all about. Ok, let's move over to our 3D printing fans. As you know, we're trying to be market leading in terms of embracing both the traditional world of selling physical products, along with ensuring we keep in touch with the 3D printing community 
and our Mantic Vault has been a great way to enable us to make this happen. This is an amazing service for existing Mantic supporters to get some cool STLs. However, if you're someone who's predominantly a 3D printing hobbyist, you may not have heard of the Mantic Vault or even Mantic Games. Well, this is where we step in with my mini factory Frontiers. Launching on July 23rd, we're bringing Dead Zone to the 3D printing community by offering a way to buy STLs for complete strike teams and digital PDF rules. This is a great way to get in front of those 3D printing enthusiasts and show them what folks who are subscribed to the vault or buy their models in physical format already know that Dead Zone is a fantastic game. If you sign up to be notified when it goes live, you can get your hands on a free STL of Blaine, so head over and check it out. There'll be a link in the description of this video. You may have seen recently the news about Mantic Games acquiring Riverhorse, and with that bringing some exciting licenses and products under the Mantic umbrella. Well, one such license is the hugely popular Jim Henson movie, Labyrinth. With the 40th anniversary of the much-loved movie rapidly approaching, we thought it would only be fitting to release a celebration of this, and so launching on GameFound on July the 16th, we will be bringing you an amazing Labyrinth 40th anniversary collection, which includes Labyrinth the card game, Labyrinth the adventure game, Ready Steady Worm the board game, plus Labyrinth the board game, with a brand new updated rulebook, an exclusive humongous expansion and all new mini game, and some beautiful character pieces, all presented in this fantastic collection box. If you already have the Labyrinth products, as we know there's already a lot of fans who do, we'll be providing a way for you to buy just the updated things and store your own collection in this new presentation box. If you're new to Labyrinth, then you have a lot to get excited about, and if you're a seasoned fan like many of us are, then there's some fantastic new stuff to come, so sign up at the GameFound page to be notified when the campaign launches. Again, the link is in the video's description, should you need it. Lastly, I always give the monthly vault update, and this month is no different. In keeping with the summer of sci-fi theme, July brings our newest pre-made strike team to Dead Zone, the Goblin Nuts and Bolts Strike Team, led by the well-known Bolts and his partner in crime, Nuts. This 200-point strike team is comprised of 11 figures, containing 6 brand new sculpts. If the last few pre-made strike teams haven't pulled you in, this one certainly will. Also included this month for Armada fans are the Abyssal Dwarf XL ships, the Hellfane and the Arbiter of Pain, the Abyssal Dwarf Flyers, the Gunworm and the Gargoyles Flock, plus a terrain pack including these two islands and this fort. Adding to the terrain in this month's pack are some sci-fi terrain including doors, terminals and a gun rack with some loose weapons. Great for scenery, basic materials, objective markers or dioramas. Well, that's it for another packed month of this month at Mantic. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next month.